Over the last few weeks, and especially the last few days, many of you have been asking what in the world I'm putting my money into. Of course, this is my third cycle, so I'm starting to notice patterns. So where am I putting my money? What do I think is going to happen next? And much more. And so what I decided to do is start a little series here on the channel telling you guys about the moves that I'm making with my portfolio, but more specifically, the categories that I'm investing into, and then giving you examples of the cryptos in that category. And so in today's video, we're going to be talking about the category today that I think is going to rise the soonest and the one that I'm doing the most investing into right now and so with that said let's not waste any more time at all and let's get straight into the video now generally speaking whenever we start to see crypto doing well the funds usually flow in this particular order first and foremost you're gonna see Bitcoin of course starting to catch liquidity first that's just normal people are taking that safe flight they want to go somewhere in crypto but they don't want to go anywhere that's super risky and they think that Bitcoin is the option now once Bitcoin starts to do well it of course does raise the tide a bit pulling up many of these top five altcoins okay you're gonna of course then see something like ethereum picking up steam maybe a bnb or a solana or xrp or whatever it may be right you're going to start to see them catching some momentum just like we're kind of seeing right now now once that top five starts to do well then you're going to start to see the rest of the market already starting to do well so before we see where the rest of these funds really flow to you are going to see the rest of the market you know pretty much all of crypto start to kind of pick up right you're going to see meme coins somewhat doing better launches going better things of that nature but it's not truly where the funds are flowing to it's just just kind of a result of the rising tide right but what we're going to generally see the funds then flow to from your top five is of course through your top 10 but then most specifically into your mid caps now your mid caps can generally be defined as those cryptos that sit between the top 20 to the top 100 and what i've noticed over time is that as we see the flow from top five to mid caps you're then going to see the process of new top 10 and top 15 cryptos being created you're going to see those cryptos that are number 35 number 40 number 45 work their way up rather quickly into being top 20 top 15 etc right and so of course knowing that i personally do believe think you know and think that we're around this part in which we're really starting to see funds flowing back into the top five and not all of them right we're still seeing a ton of institutional investment going into bitcoin but i still do think we're in the early stages of seeing the top five starting to pick up steam you know obviously seeing bnb pushing all-time highs um solana obviously not super far off from its own all-time highs comparatively ethereum not super far from its all-time highs comparatively knowing those things i think that we're getting close or at least getting in a position position in which we will start to see you know these these top fives pull some of these mid caps now as liquidity then flows to them so knowing and thinking that this is what's going to start to catch more momentum next how do we get in front of that well the way that we're going to get in front of that is looking at some of the strongest players within the mid cap sector and that's layer ones and layer twos now if you don't know what a layer one is a layer one is the base blockchain itself you're thinking of something like ethereum now if you want to know what a layer two is a layer two is a platform or a protocol built to scale and make that overall layer one better so think of something like polygon matic the purpose of a layer two is to kind of serve a layer one and generally speaking these are the ones within the top you know top 15 to top 100 that are going to do the best the fastest because they are the most useful generally speaking and so knowing that i'm going to give you a couple examples of layer ones and layer twos that are in that little range that i think are going to continue to do well over time because again they're already starting to do well as a result of the flow into crypto in general as we can see here so the first example that i'm going to give you is we're just going to start off with render okay render is a crypto it's currently a layer two that of course does have a ton of potential currently sitting at a 4.3 billion dollar market cap rank number 34 a fantastic example of a crypto in a size that i think is going to continue to do well now am i saying it's going to just go straight up from here no it could easily pull back because it is going parabolic right now i'm not saying it's going to go straight up i'm just saying that over time i think it will continue upwards in an attempt to get up in that you know top 20 top 15-esque area now another example we have let's go to layer ones is something like caspa currently ranked number 42 with a three billion dollar market cap this is one that i genuinely believe could work its way up to being you know 30 billion 40 billion at the top of the market putting it somewhere you know in that top 20 in that top 15 another fantastic example another example being something like jasmine which is another layer two currently sitting at a one billion dollar market cap only rank number 109 i don't see a reason as to why this can't hit 8 billion 9 billion 10 billion and although it does have a ways away to go it is already doing well and i think that this one could be a good example of one that is going to see the funds continue to flow into it as they trickle down from the top now another good example is one that's a bit 
more of an OG, something like Phantom. Number 55 ranked at $2.3 billion market cap, absolutely smashing it recently, starting to finally catch a little bit of momentum. This is a sign that we're starting to see those funds flowing back into some of these ones that are in that top 50, top 55-ish area. And I think Phantom having experience and having already seen amazing growth and development could easily pick up steam and really start to work its way back up to some of those highs that it saw, which easily could put it around, you know, $8 billion, $10 billion market cap. Now, going back to L1s again, I mean, there are even opportunities outside of that top 100 to some of those smaller ones in the top, you know, 150 to 200. Obviously, there's things like Venar Chain. We talked about this thing not too long ago, about a month ago. I told you, I think it has a lot of potential and the money will trickle to it eventually. And you can see this thing's up 500% just in the last month. And it still has room to go, in my opinion, because again, it's not even gotten close to a billion dollar market cap yet. Now, Venar Chain's a little bit different in the sense that it's a blockchain that's kind of targeted towards more of a modernist problem focusing on the entertainment industry and entertainment consumers but you get the point right it has that type of potential and it's still so small in comparison to many things that getting up to you know say 5 billion still puts it at a 10x even after already being up 500 percent just within the last few months right and so because of that with things like this i hope this gives you a good um, example face of what could be some good cryptos to invest into if you're trying to get into this category of layer ones and layer twos and again i hope if you just quite simply look at what they've done over the last few weeks you can see that the funds are starting to flow into them but they're not fully flowing into them yet like i think that they will do and obviously then that'll be a real time in which we could see them absolutely popping you know 10 billion 20 billion 30 billion replacing some of those top 30 top 20 top 15 cryptos so that's kind of one of the little areas and categories that i'm investing into today and those are some examples of it now guys don't forget if you do want to trade some of these cryptos you can use margex i do have a link down below in which you will get a couple hundred dollars as a deposit bonus once you start trading you don't have to kyc meaning you don't have to give them any personal information you don't have to even use a vpn from anywhere in the world you can just deposit funds and start trading on leverage as you like they're the best trading platform in the world in my opinion and if you use the link down below again you can get some perks that i think you should check out so make sure that you do that down in the description below but with that in mind again i just wanted to give you an update on what i'm investing in what category i'm liking the most and again i do plan on making more of these going forward about maybe like ai and crypto gaming and things of that nature so make sure that you do subscribe to the channel if you want to make sure you see that video leave me a comment let me know what cryptos in the l1 and l2 space you're investing in and i will see you all in the next video peace out everybody